fraudulent storage devices. If you run a repair shop, I'm sure you've seen them. The flash drives you can get from Amazon that claim to be several terabytes. They're a little too cheap. They're in that classic housing that you see a flash drive in that's direct from China. We've all seen them. And if you haven't, you've gone online and you've seen people have said, I got scammed with a flash drive that said it was however big, it deleted my files, my files aren't on there, or it's not letting me put files on it. So I decided I would locate one of these, which they're pretty easy to locate in all their online marketplaces and try to see how it works. And uh, this is what I came up with. Good news, reportedly a 2000 gigabyte flash drive. It's pretty large for a USB 2.0 flash drive. <laughs> it's from a seller on Amazon that was not fulfilled through Amazon, just some independent seller. And here are some of the, the details in the listing that I, I took from the screen. The listing has since been taken down, but here are some of the details. Large capacity storage USB flash super space. So that's instilling confidence already in the first listed spec. We have plug-in works. <laughs> the drive has simple plug-and-play design without any software installation. I would say not any software installation that you know of when you plug it into your computer. There may be some going on in the background for some of these. And then they tap all kinds of resistance there. We have water, magnetic, high temperature, x-ray resistance. And I took that one as sort of a personal challenge. And so I decided to do this and get a look inside of it. And there's a few things we can tell from this 2000 gigabyte flash drive. It has a VGA 152 type NAND chip, which is pretty standard. But the controller is actually very small. It's right there in the middle. It's pretty small for a two terabyte flash drive. And it's kind of amazing that you can go online and see all these features and reportedly get it for 1299. So it sounds like an amazing deal to me. And I decided let's plug this into some systems and see what's actually going on with this and why this wouldn't be something that you should put your data on and expect a full recovery. When we connect the drive to a system, this is what it claims it is with the ID from the drive. We have a pretty generic model. We have vendor co product code. Then it says firmware version 2.0, which I'm glad they decided to revise it at some point. That's very nice of them. And it shows that it has 4 billion sectors of 512 bytes. So it's reporting to be the size that it says it is. And I thought, well, how does this really work? There's no way this is real. There's a lot of these, you've probably seen videos online of how these work. Some of them write over themselves. Some of them have firmware where the data is just not going anywhere. This one individually was actually pretty interesting. But what I did was I wrote a pattern to the drive in hex that labels what each logical block is by number. You can see it there on the right side in the plain text. So once we got to about 58 gigabytes of sectors, the sectors mysteriously stopped being written, just turned into nothing. Um, so any sector app with 122,243,071 just becomes nothing. It becomes zeros. So if you filled up this drive and then you want to add a new file to it, there's a custom firmware on this drive that essentially is going to write that file that you put into the front of the drive at the master file table. It's going to show up in your explorer, your finder on your computer. You're going to see the file there, but Part of it, or not, maybe all of it, if it's past that limit, is just going to be zeros. So there's no data there. The actual file isn't anywhere. So going without saying, or going without saying, this is an unrecoverable scenario. If you filled up that drive to that limit on this fake drive and then put a very important file on it, it may show that it's on this drive, but this particular one is not writing it anywhere. It's just going to be blank. This isn't how all these drives work. Each company that makes these fraudulent devices has sort of a different scheme for doing it. Your experience may vary if you come across one of these, but these are the kind of things to look for. Go ahead, drivesaversdatarecovery.com if you want to learn more about the company.